Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL query training session with Learn at No Star. Today we are going to write a simple SQL query to find out if a year is a leap year or not. So starting with the basic logic of finding out a leap year, the logic says that if a year is divisible by 4 but not exactly by 100 or if an year is divisible by 400 then we can identify that as a leap year. So that is the basic logic based on which we can write a query and find out if an year is a leap year or not. But we are going to see another approach today. Uh, that is a simple, very simple query that you can make to find out if an year is a leap year and that approach is to have to create a date 29th Feb of that year and then check if that is a valid date. So for example, let's say the year is 2021, then we are going to check if 29th February 2021 is a valid date or not. If it comes out as a valid date, then that year is a leap year, otherwise it is not. So for 2020, it should come out as as a valid date for 2021 it should not come out as a valid date so we are going to create a simple query with this logic and quickly check if an year is a leap year or not so let's get started with writing this query so we are going to start with declaring a variable where we are going to store the year value so let's use the declare statement and the variable name is going to be at year the variable type is going to be integer and let's give it a value of 2021 for now Next is to convert this year into a 29th February date value. So what we are going to do is first convert this integer value into a character. So for that, for converting any value, we need to use the cast function. So we are going to cast this variable year as character 4. So this would be our yyyy. And then we are going to concatenate the month and the date so the month for us is going to be 02 and the date is going to be 29 so we are going to concatenate this string value and this should give us 29 feb date for this particular year so we simply execute this query real quick okay we have to first declare the variable as well because we are using the variable in the query so we get the date as 2021-02-29 which is yyyy mmdd format and now we have to check if this is a valid value for that particular year so to check if this is a valid value we have a simple function called is date we are going to put over here and close the brackets so let's see what is the outcome or the result from this function Okay, again, so we missed to declare the variable. Okay, execute it again. So the output from this is coming as zero. Zero means it's not a valid date value. So for this, for any date to be a valid date value and for uh, us to be able to check it with the isDate function, the output of the isDate function should be one. So that is the check that we are going to make. So to check that we can use the case function. So the way the case function works is you have to write case statement case when this particular the result of this particular validation on this 29th February date is equal to one then we can say it's a leap year else we can say it's not a leap year and then we have to close the case statement with an end over there so if now we run this query you will see the result is not a leap year now let's change this to a leap year so let's change it to 2020 we know that 2020 was a leap year and now execute this query and we should get the result as that this is a leap year so this is a leap year. So this is a simple way of checking whether a year is a leap year or not. Now let's go back to the more conventional approach and actually use this logic to create a query to see if a year is a leap year or not. So to use this uh, logic, it's very simple. You just have to check whether the year is fully divisible by 4 and not by 100 at the same time or it is divisible by 4. So it's simple to check. You can just check here input this person sign over here and then you have to check whether it is divisible by 4 and it leaves no remainder so you have to see it is equal to 0 
and at the same time it is not divisible by 100 so at year and this person sign divided by 100 is not equal to 0 okay put this in a bracket or the other condition could be that this year is divisible completely divisible by 400 so to check that you have to again put the person sign and divisible by 400 okay that means the remainder is going to be zero so let's compare it with zero so either of these conditions is true it is going to be a leap year and then we are going to put this again within a case statement case when this is true then okay, we can just copy it from here Then leap year, else not a year. Okay, let's comment this out. And now let's execute this query. So for 2020, it should be a leap year. So you get the answer as leap year. Let's change it to 2021 and see what is the output of this query. So this comes as not a leap year. So these are the two approaches you can take to write a SQL query to find out whether an year is a leap year or not. I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.